All right, in this video, I'm going to show you an app that is relatively new, um, at least at the recording of this video. It's called Snap Swipe Drawer. You can get this off the Play Store. It's free. Um, you can purchase it for, I think, $1.85, and that gives you the ability to add more widgets to a slide down notification uh, screen. Now, let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to go ahead and unlock my phone. And um, now, if I slide down from the middle, and I'm using Nova Launcher, like if I just slide down like this, you know, there's my notifications. Um, however, if I slide down from the top right hand corner now, somewhere right up in here, what it's going to bring up is this app, Snap Swipe Drawer. And as you can see, I have some widgets on this thing, and I can scroll through these widgets and maybe you recognize some of them. Uh, for example, you know, that's a KWGT widget. I finally found a reason to use KWGT and KLWP together. I can put my KWGT widgets into this thing. Um, I devices, that's for grilling when I'm grilling out, but here's a power amp widget. Here's an, uh, a weather underground widget. And down here at the bottom, a Google News widget. And you can actually scroll through these. Um, notice that's changing. If I tap on the uh, I, or weather underground, it's going to load up Weather Underground. So, you know, it's very interactive, just like a widget would be on your launcher, on your stock launcher. So let me go back to the home screen. Now, this is my KOWP setup. Now, if you're looking at this and you have no idea what KOWP is, that's not what this video is about. This video is about Snap Swipe Drawer. So let me show you how to add some. Let me show you a few more things about it. Again, I'm, sli I'm swiping from the top right-hand corner. If I tap this icon, now I have a few and now the app is new so as you can see here I just had some widgets and where did they go uh, this is a new app um, it's it's not super buggy but as you can see here those widgets aren't showing but I'm gonna tap this little blue thing right here and oh look there's an update so change minimum number of activation areas to zero see I'm not too familiar with the app yet I just got it but I wanted to talk about it because it, it is got it does have some great features to it so uh, let's Go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and click OK on that. These are the widgets that I have right now. I have a KWGT widget, I have the iDevices Power Amp, the Weather Underground, and then the Google News. Well, to add another one, uh, we just tap that plus, and you can look through your widgets. So let's add um, whatever we want, really. Like, OK, Info Zone. If I tap that, it's a four by one. So I can actually edit how many rows and columns I want it to be. I'm going to leave it as a four by one. I'm going to click save and now it's added. If I don't want a widget there, for example, let's get rid of news and weather. You just swipe it off. If you want to rearrange these, if I want to move this up to the top, I click and hold and I'm going to slide it up here to the top maybe. And just like that, I've rearranged them. Now let me show you some other things inside of the app. Enabled, I got it enabled. Preferences. This is where, notice I was talking about swiping from the top right hand corner. Um, we can actually activate or uh, uh, access these things from the lock screen. And widgets, one finger scroll, I haven't really messed with that yet. But I'm using the top right corner to swipe down. And here's another cool feature. Um, I can be inside of any app and I can swipe from the top right hand corner and bam, there's my widgets. As you, and you can just kind of scroll them back up to get out of them. But uh, do we see it updated? Yeah, see, look, if I scroll to the top, remember I moved that info zone, the Verizon thing up to the top? So it is updating it. And like I said, I'm inside of the actual app itself. Let me go back to my home screen, swipe the top right-hand corner. Be a little bit quicker with that. See, we're still seeing all those widgets. And uh, we can play music right now as well. I think it's going to play through my computer though, and I have my computer volume. There you go. Can we scroll through the music? I mean, it looks like it's, it's running the same exact way as a widget would. You know, same way to me as if it was on my stock launcher. So if I exit, let me pause that. Get up out of here. So swiping up to get out of it. Now, let me open up an app, for example, to show you even further what we can do with this thing. Um, let me go into KLWP, and okay, I'm inside of KLWP, I'm going to swipe the top right hand corner, and you can access those widgets from whatever app you're in. I haven't tested every single app, but I've tested a lot of my commonly used apps, and I can access this just fine. Now, I think the back button will back right out of that, so that's another way to get out of that widget screen. 
Uh, going back to the home screen, other things to show you. Uh, so let's, uh, you know, KLWP users, KWGT users, um, watch this. So I'm going to swipe down from the top right-hand corner. Whoops, not the whole screen. So swiping down from the top right-hand corner. We'll tap that blue thing. I'm going to add one, and let me go to KWGT and watch this. So I'm tapping that. I can pick how many rows, how many columns. Let's do um, one by, oh, let's do okay, columns. I want four columns, and let's just do a, a one by four. So let me save that. So it's a four by one. Now, if I just go back to my home screen, it's going to have a blank widget there. See? See it right in there at the bottom? Click to set up. Well, if I click that, it's going to open up KWGT. Now, let me just load up a quick widget real fast. Featured, let's see, installed. Um, okay, this one right here. One of them that's included in the base pack. I'm going to tap on that. You can edit it just like always. I'll tell you what, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. Can I scale it? Yes. That's about as big as I can make it based on the 4x1 that I picked. Or 1x4, whatever you want to call it. Let's save that. Now, it's not going to put it on the home screen. It's going to put it up here in... Now, I'm just using... It does swipe a lot better than this. I'm using my tablet to do this, so it's a little bit weird. But there it is. Look. See it right down there? So you can add KWGT widgets into this thing. So, um, I mean, I think that right there had me sold. Um, I think it will for most of you KLWP and KWGT users. And even those of you who have no idea what KLWP is and KWGT is, I recommend checking those apps out too. Check out my channel. I have plenty of videos on that. But I did want to show you a way to organize your widgets um, inside of a scroll down. And then to end the video, let me cut my phone off. Let me cut it back on. Let me unlock. Well, I don't want to unlock it. Here's what I want to show you. If I slide down from the top right corner, like I said, you can access these widgets from the lock screen. Pretty cool, huh? But uh, there you have it. That is Snap Swipe Drawer and definitely an app I'm going to be using in conjunction with KLWP and KWGT. And that's it for this video. Hope it helped.